Hello, I'm Wendy. Today I'm painting coastal walls with flowers in watercolour. It's a painting demonstration. If you follow my channel, you'll know that um, in my last two videos I painted coastal flowers followed by coastal walls. Now this video I'm painting both together. I'm painting the lovely sea campion growing on the rustic coastal walls of Scomer Island off the coast of Pembrokeshire. Now those videos gave a pretty good in-depth narration of techniques and links to both are given in the description box. There will be less narration in this video so do go back and look at those videos for more explanation of techniques if you do need to. This was one of the photographs that I was working from for this painting demonstration. I started off doing a uh, quite a loose pencil drawing. Um, in this case I was using the charcoal pencil again. So I was doing this quite quick drawing of the um, some of the campion flowers and just loosely sketching out um, an area of the wall. I then painted the sky area in, in a wet in wet technique using a neutral grey and being quite careful to paint around some of the flower shapes there. I then did some first washes on the wall. Um, there were some green leaves, not too many on this um, particular reference. There were some green leaves there and some very warm colours. So I'm using some burnt sienna there dotted about in between the rocks. I did a little bit more drawing at this stage, um, just reinforcing some of the rock shapes. I'm using charcoal pencil at the moment. I quite like the way that it sort of blends in with the watercolour. But if you're not too keen on that technique, then clearly you can use um, just an ordinary pencil for this. I then put in some of the um, small little leaves that were growing between the rocks. You're seeing this work being done in real time, but later on I will speed up the video and I will put a little, um, some information about that at the bottom left hand side.
Some of the darker colours are going in now of the wall. The colours were all very warm and so I'm using burnt sienna, burnt umber. I am darkening it a little bit um, in some cases with um, Payne's Grey and maybe a touch of ultramarine. I painted in some of the colours of the rocks that I could see, making sure that I did keep everything very light because I did want the light colour of the rocks to stand out against their background. The Sea Campion I painted very loosely and put one or two little blue shadows on the petals.
I went back to the wall and um, looking at my reference photograph, I was um, looking at these nice burnt sienna colours again that were in the wall and just basically looking at colours and putting them, you know, in the places in the wall where I felt um, they would go. I wasn't copying everything exactly clearly. It was quite intuitive, but I was keeping an eye on the reference for colours and for shapes. I think it's important to always be aware that you do need some darker accents when you're doing work like this. It's a balance of the tones. You, you want to keep some lighter areas, mid-tones, and then what I'm doing now is putting some of these, um, these darker tones in there. I think also you do need an area in your picture with not so much going on. I've said before, I do tend to be quite busy. I do tend to fill up um, areas probably a little bit too much. So in this case, I was trying to keep some of the areas of the wall not so busy, but I felt maybe the sky, that was more of a place where the eye could rest. It wasn't as busy. We had these this softer wash in the sky. So the painting is almost at an end now. I think I've done quite enough. I've really enjoyed painting this wall. Um, I think what I'm doing now is trying to just get rid of some of the glaring whiteness of the stones. And again, looking at the reference, there were these subtle light brown and blue shadows on them. There was a little area on the left hand side that I really didn't like. I didn't make a lot of adjustments to this picture, but um, in this case, I really didn't like that area there on the left, so I lifted it out and damped it and used a tissue, lifted it out and then did some work on the top. And I was happier with that. I finished the sea campion at this stage, um, making some of the stems a little bit darker and there were some little leaves on them that I put on. Um, the next little bit, um, doing that work, will be speeded up because it is a bit repetitive.
A little bit of splattering never comes amiss with some white gouache and then I think the painting was done. As always I do hope that you enjoyed the video and feel you can use some of the techniques in your own paintings. I really enjoyed painting these uh, walls of Scoma so there were three in total. I did the flowers, I did a tutorial on painting walls and then I put the two together to produce this painting. Much of it was very experimental and I did learn a lot myself. Do subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss future content. Bye for now and happy painting!